So mail your check or call 492-1111 right now. Spellbound is Paula Abdul's long-awaited follow-up second album. She threw caution to the wind by deciding to work with a new production team and released the ballad Rush Rush as the first single. Here Paula explains her reasoning. Tell me, baby! I have a lot of tricks up my sleeve that I want to pull out. I'm so locked into that dance music thing to come out with a ballad it was like, well, is my audience going to follow me with this? I hope so, because I want my audience to grow up while I'm growing up. The past few months have been a real growing experience for Paula. After defending herself against claims that she was not doing her own singing on her breakthrough LP, Forever Your Girl. Regardless, Paula says her new album, Spellbound, shows off her voice more than her first record. It was important for me to, um, to grow in the vocal area. Um, it's an area that I continuously have to work on and and luckily for me it's just it's something that I'm really having fun improving on and I have been working hard. She's also been working hard at co-writing her songs, something she didn't get to do on Forever Your Girl. This time her collaborators threw her right into the ring. Knowing that, that I'm a novice somewhat in this business, there was never a feeling of like, oh, you know, let's treat her with kick gloves, you know, because she's nervous. She's just like, they, come on, Paula, come up with something and let's work together. One of the song ideas she came up with is something her mother is always teasing her about, finding a husband. I wanted to do a song about a girl getting up enough courage to ask the guy to marry her. I mean, I figured that might have to happen, that might happen to me. <laughs> <laughs> the resulting song called Will You Marry Me features Paula's idol Stevie Wonder playing harmonica. I thought there's no way he would do it. Why would he do it? And he said he would love to do it. Another great songwriter who wanted to work with Paula was Prince. He called her up and said he'd written a song for her called You. All I want is you. I remember when he was listening to the vocals, I'd see a little smile coming out of his face or a laugh and I thought, eh. Okay, I think he likes it. <laughs> Even with all these heavy hitters helping out, critical acclaim has been tough to come by. But Paula says she's happy with the record, and that's what matters. I know in my heart that I put a lot of effort into it, and I really enjoy what I did. Hopefully the rest of the world will. Okay. He doesn't care. Who doesn't care, Julie? Talk to me, Jeff. All I ever do is talk. Your parents? Father. We used to be such good friends, but it's much harder now. Look at her. Slicing and dicing poor old dad for lunch. And he just lets her walk all over. All I know is that every time we talk, it turns into an argument. They think they can solve everything by running away. He hates me. Why did you put that kid in the hospital? I didn't want to hurt him. But he called me a loser. How do you really think he means to say those things? <laughs> I swear on my soul, I will never be like him. A loser? Let me ask you something, Rick. How's a guy supposed to grow up in the middle of that, huh? You tell me that.
Wasn't that terrible? Terrible. No. It just reminds you that we're all alone, that's all. Still there with her latest number one record, Rush Rush. Well, that's going to wrap up things for our Totally Paula special. I'm downtown Julie Brown saying goodbye and always God bless.